You probably never heard about this genocide, but it is happening right now, as you are watching this video. Let's talk about Nigeria. 17 Christians are killed every day in the first half of 2021. Nearly 3,500 Christians were killed in 2021, and the year is not over yet. And we saw a lot of dead bodies on the streets because they, they shot some, they slaughtered some. It was just all over the place on the floor. They were pulling girls out, raping them, beating them up. The whole of our village were born down. My family were born into ashes, eight of them, the four children, and my wife and my mother, my father. The violence against Christians in Nigeria is at its highest level, according to Open Doors organization. Close to 300 churches were shut down due to threats or attacks. And not only that, Nigeria is among the top 10 most dangerous countries for Christians. It leads the world in the number of kidnapped Christians. Just a few months ago, armed terrorists raided the Bethel Baptist High School and kidnapped 140 pupils, including young girls. This is the reality for Christians in Nigeria, as well as other groups like the Igbos. Nigerian pastor Balona Ibrahim was shot dead on the altar of the church located inside the Maiden village. It happened during a child dedication service at the church. And his only crime is converting from Islam to Christianity. Who is doing this? Well, terrorist groups like Boko Haram and jihadist Fulani radicals. Why are they doing this? Well, these terrorist groups want to convert people to Islam by force, and that's why Christians are the main target. And if they refuse, they will just kill them or make them sex slaves. They basically say, think like me or die. And Christians in Nigeria refuse to give up their faith. They would rather give up their lives first. This is insane. It has been happening for years. And the mainstream Western media remains largely silent while the Nigerian government is barely doing anything to stop this. Where is the UN? Where are the human rights organizations? Why are they silent when Christians are butchered in Africa? Are Africans less important? This is shameful. The world must wake up before it is too late. Let's stand up for the voiceless people in Africa who are experiencing this genocide right now. They deserve to be free.